Hey guys, me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. Today we're talking about dupes, and I love a good dupe. When I was in high school and I had no money, I used to scour the internet looking for dupes. Now that I'm in the industry doing beauty stuff every single day, I still revel in the discovery of finding a good one. So you know that I love to compare high-end makeup to drugstore makeup, so I thought, why not put the creme de la creme of lipstick to the test, and that is Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford lipsticks. I have a couple in my collection, but I know that the lipsticks are not the most affordable option. The normal size of the lipstick, I have one right here, retails for $54, which is very steep, but they are so beautiful and the formula is to die for. Today we will be duping two of my favorite Tom Ford lipsticks, the first of which is Bruised Plum. It is a beautiful plummy aubergine color. Next one is Dominic. It is a matte finish, beautiful deep red lipstick. I never put them on from how they're supposed to be used because right here it has a little like TF embossed in the front. I don't want to like make it go away so I always put it on from the back to keep it looking good. First things first, Dominic. This is the matte formula of the Tom Ford lipstick which to me is more of a velvety finish. It's not like super powdery matte. It's such a beautiful deep red and it feels so comfortable. I'm gonna swatch Dominic on the top of my wrist right here. And I'm gonna swatch all the dupes right below. So first up is the most expensive dupe, but it is significantly cheaper. It is MAC, retails for $16. This is Russian Red, a classic, classic matte MAC shade. Very, very close. I will say that the MAC is just, just a hair matter than the Tom Ford lipstick, but in terms of tone, they're like nearly identical. The MAC in coloring, although like looking at them like right side by side, they look so similar. The Russian Red is just a little bit rustier. So next up, we have this lipstick from Maybelline. It is the Color Sensational Lipstick in Red Revival. It retails for $7.50. It is a beautiful red shade. I'll show you here. It does have a similar like deep red tone to it. Honestly, looking at all three, they look so similar to me. It has this lovely kind of balmy texture, which the other two do have as well, but because it's more of a cream finish, it feels even more comfortable. But because it does have a shinier finish, it does slip around a little bit more on the lips. So I actually would, if you were gonna wear this lipstick, I would layer a little bit of lip liner underneath so that it doesn't feather. So the next dupe that I have for the Tom Ford lipstick in Dominic is actually a lip liner. It's from ColourPop. ColourPop makes some of my favorite lip liners. This one is the Bossy Lip Liner. And I just said the Maybelline lipstick would benefit from a lip liner underneath. And you can just use this one because it retails for five bucks. I'm a big fan of ColourPop lip products in general. I love their lip pencils. They are super matte. They keep my lipstick on a lot longer. If you don't want to use a lip pencil though, they have a regular lipstick in the same shade Bossy. So you can get that as well. So those are the three true dupes that I found, but I have one more, kind of an honorable mention. This is the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. It is in the shade Control, and they are absolutely lovely matte li lipsticks. They come in this twist up crayon package, and they even have a little sharpener at the end that you can use to sharpen the actual bullet of the lipstick if you want it to be even more precise. As you can see, it is not an exact match for Dominic, but it is in the same kind of deep red tone. This one has a little bit more brown in it, in my opinion. It is very matte. And what I like about these lipsticks in particular is the tip of it is very small, so you can put, get around your lip, you can get your lip line. You don't really have to use lip liner if you don't want to. Here are all the dupes lined up. 16, 28, $5, and 750. I hope that you guys found something in here that you like. So moving right along, this is Tom Ford Bruce Plum. This is the full size, 54 buckaroos. And it's just a very nice, in my opinion, really great kind of aubergine berry lip color that's great for this time of year. It was harder to color match this one because the tones in this lipstick are actually kind of unique. So I'm gonna show you 
what we found. And I think, I think we did, I think we did a pretty good job. First up, we have this Wet n Wild lipstick. This is the Mega Last lipstick line. This is the shade Cherry Bomb. These fellas retail for $2.50 each, and these are kind of in my opinion, mainstays of the drugstore. They're really great, they're so cheap, they come in a lot of beautiful colors, red, nude, brown, this beautiful berry. So the Bruce Plum is more of a creamy finish. You can see the shine on my lips right now. This one is much more matte, and it's also, although it is definitely in the same color family in a very close match, it's not the exact same color match. I'm telling you, it was hard, guys. Next up, I have this lipstick from NYX. It's the Butter Lipstick in the shade Licorice. And I think this lipstick is actually the closest match in terms of formula and the way it feels. So they both have a kind of shinier finish. The Tom Ford lipstick is just a little bit more lustrous, but the Butter Lipstick still has that kind of satiny shine to it. Because they're a little bit shinier, if you want a very crisp lip line, I would line prior to application. That's just like my personal preference. The color match, again, is a little bit pinker on the Tom Ford side, but not, in my opinion, not so different after all. So the last dupe that I have here is from e.l.f., one of my favorite affordable brands, cruelty-free, they make really great stuff. This is the shade Bordeaux Beauty. It's the moisturizing lipstick from e.l.f., it retails for three bucks, super cheap. So this one, as you can see from how many times I had to apply it, the first layer that you put on your lips is gonna be a little bit more sheer, but you can really build it up, as you can see on my hand right now, to make it look a lot more um, like the Tom Ford lipstick, and it does have the same pinkiness that Bruce Plum has. It's very comfortable, it has a nice sheen to it. And the e.l.f. lipsticks, these particular ones, the bottom, you can get more product. See? You like take it out, and there's a little, cap full of extra lip product. It is such a good idea. Let me know in the comments if you knew that because when I found this out, I was like Poof. Here are all the lipstick dupes for Tom Ford Bruce Plum. I think that in terms of color, the e.l.f. lipstick is the closest in terms of having that pinky berry tone. In terms of the finish, I think the butter lipsticks from NYX are the closest. And then the Wet n Wild, if you want that kind of same tone, but you want it to be matte, I would highly recommend those two. All right, so there you have it. Dupes for two of my favorite lipsticks that just so happen to be pretty pricey. Let me know in the comments below if you've heard of these dupes before, or if you have any other alternatives to those lipsticks that you love. One Tom Ford lipstick is really expensive, let alone buying multiple shades of one. So I hope that these kind of gave you cheaper options if you wanna get a similar look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like to see me find dupes for. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you want to see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below and click here to subscribe to Refiner29 and click here to watch more videos. Bye.